So in this video, we're going to be covering how to use a potentiometer to control a servo motor. Um, so the goal for this is as I turn my dial here on my potentiometer, it'll change the position of my servo motor. Um, go ahead and pause this video and uh, build this circuit. And then when we're ready, we'll move on to the code. So now you should have a circuit that looks very similar to mine. We're going to click on code and um, we want to choose um, this category right here variables we'll create a new variable and we have an input and so we need a state for that input so we'll do pot state and we'll click ok and then our first line of code or our first block is going to be set pot state equal to uh, the value that's being read from our potentiometer so we'll do input because our potentiometer is an input device or component. And we're going to say read analog pin. So analog meaning it's a series of numbers, not just high or low. And the pin, which is the one that's connected um, to our uh, Arduino or our pot. So our pot right here is connected to specifically pin A1. So we'll change this to A1. And again, we have a variable right now that will be equal to whatever value we get from our potentiometer, which again is going to be from 0 to 1023. Once we have that value stored into a variable, we'll use that variable to control our um, servo motor. So we'll click on output. We're not going to use this one right here because remember our servo motor has a range of 0 to 180. Um, and so we're not going to say high or low. We can't use this one high or low. We could ideally use this one, but there's one right here that is more specific to it, which is right here rotate servo on pin so this one's specific to our servo motor so it was the fourth one down so I'll say uh, rotate servo on pin and then whatever pin our servo is connected to which I believe is pin 5 and then 0 degrees will be um, a value between 0 and 180 so if I go to math here I have to use the mapping function the reason why is because even though I am looking for a number between um, 0 and 180 this variable is going to be a range uh, a number between 0 and 1023 so the mapping function will take this variable pot state and then scale it down to a range that my servo can understand 0 to 180. So if I click on code here and bring this back into the main view here and I click on start simulation when I turn this potentiometer hopefully my servo will rotate and if I bring this potentiometer all the way to the very end that position right there is 180 the max position for my servo so that's how you use a potentiometer to control a servo motor.